Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Redding. I'm the technical director at the Calgon Carbon Corporation in their drinking water solutions segment. And I'm hoping that you're watching this video because you want to learn more about your home water filter, uh, particularly in a, in a time like this when we're looking at removing some specialized contaminants. One you may be interested in because it's been in the news frequently uh, is called PFAS or perfluoroalkyl alkyl substances. These contaminants are being detected more widely in drinking water supplies in the U.S. and throughout the world, and they're a common application or a common reason why someone would purchase a home water filter. What's in that home water filter is really, really critical, and it's important to understand that when you go out and you purchase such a unit or you have a unit installed, that you know what is inside of that. And why I say that's important is you could liken it to buying a race car, but the race car only has a lawnmower engine in it. It's not going to be terribly fast. It's the same thing that applies in an activated carbon filter. So within these filters, you can think about them very sim simply like a bed in which the water enters the top, comes out the bottom. Inside that bed will be these granules of the activated carbon material. Typically small, black, you'll see them sometimes fall out. Uh, some people think about them like they're dirt. They're actually not the dirt. They're not dirt at all. They're actually the active ingredient in that filter. So the PFAS contaminant, when it enters in through your water supply, will enter that filter, stick to the surface of the activated carbon, and the PFAS will be removed out the back end. You will not be consuming it. The activated carbon within that filter is important to consider because they're not all created equally. Two types that you'll find in the marketplace will be coconut-based and bituminous coal-based. The coconut-based carbons are not well suited to this type of application because you have a limited time for the PFAS contaminant to diffuse into that structure. What that means is that when you turn on the tap, the water flows through, it might only have a minute or two of contact time. That activated carbon has to be able to suck up that contaminant as quickly as possible. If you look at the structure of a coconut-based carbon, very simply, it has a very narrow network of porosity. The bituminous material, however, has a lot of open space. This allows the contaminant to find its way into the structure of the carbon and be removed during the short period that your tap is on, or for, perhaps, for example, it's running through tanks entering into your home. When you go out to purchase your filter, or when you're selecting a filter through a vendor, ask them if it's been certified to NSF 473. This is the certification method from the National Sanitary Foundation that says, yes, this filter, this material has been tested and has been shown to remove the PFAS compounds. Without that certification, you cannot be certain if that filter actually will do the job that you're trying to have it do. So in short, consider what's inside. Don't buy a race car with a lawnmower engine. Look for a bituminous based carbon inside your filter. This will assure that you're getting the best performance during the use of that filter and that you ultimately and your family are not consuming the contaminant that you're trying to remove.